SAS, or Syntactically Awesome Sign Sheets, is a sign sheet language originally written in Ruby by Hampton Catlin and later Chris and Natalie joined the core team. Natalie is still the most active for maintaining the code base today. After the initial created version, Natalie and Chris continued to extend SAS with SAS Script, which it is a script that allows us to compute CSS selector, property, or value using SAS expression. SAS is an extension to CSS. It doesn't change anything on the core language of CSS. It is just helping to provide some basic functionality that CSS miss, like including arithmetic operators, the flow of control and directives, and some other functionalities that you will discover in this course. Haml is considered the root of SAS, so we end up with an indented syntax similar to Haml that uses the .sas file extension and indentation rather than braces to indicate nesting of selectors and new lines rather than semicolons to separate properties. In version 3, SAS introduced the .scss format of SAS CSS that uses the file extension of .scss. It follows a block formatting principle where braces are used to denote code blocks. This basic structure of the CSS syntax is identical to CSS, so the way you use it to write CSS still applies. So you can even pass a CSS to SAS transpiler by just changing the extension from .css to .scss and it will work without any problem. So with all this information, what you should really use, SAS or HCSS? So to be clear, we'll not use the SAS format, which is not the most implemented. So we'll stick to HCSS format or SAS CSS format, which is widely the most used format of the SAS language. So whenever I say SAS, this will refer automatically to SAS CSS or SCSS that you will use for the entire course. And let's get to the basic rule set terminology of SCSS. So we have a rule set where the curly braces and everything within this block is considered declaration block, then a selection of container before the opening curly braces, and we have some key value pair where the key is a property or a property name and and this property has a value which can be also called a property value. These are just the basics of a declaration block before going into any complexity.